Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about how to configure Workflow. Workflow is the overarching process for submitting and vetting continuous improvement project ideas, then advancing active projects through a series of phase gate reviews until they're complete. While continuous improvement programs share a common goal, not every company executes their program the same way. To meet the unique needs of your company, data architects use the web app to configure workflow. When you create a sandbox, you actually create a copy of your entire live site so you can experiment with changes without affecting your users. In the sandbox, go to the sandbox workflow tab. From here, you can control several aspects of the workflow process, including the methodologies your company can use to execute projects, the idea form and data required to submit project ideas, the users responsible for reviewing ideas and assigning projects, the link between workflow data and dashboard data, the chart used to evaluate ideas, the project details to display at each stage of the workflow, and whether you want users to receive email notifications when they need to review ideas or projects. Let's take a look at these various workflow settings, starting with the methodologies. With a standard set of common methodologies, you can modify any of them to fit your company's unique deployment needs. Here, you can rename the methodology and associate it with a project template. You can also rearrange, rename, or add new phases, change the roles required to review each phase, and select the fields that users must complete before they submit a phase for review. And if you use a methodology that you don't see here, you can create a new one. The idea form is what users fill out to submit an idea. When submitted, it triggers the workflow process. You can edit this form in the desktop app, or you can select any form you like as long as it's a management form. Just as you can add required fields to the individual phases of a methodology, you can also add required fields to the idea and hopper stages. You can decide which fields users must complete before they can submit an idea or which fields must be complete before a steering committee member can start a project. After you select the fields to display, it's a good idea to indicate that they are required fields on the form. This makes it easier for users to see this important information at a glance. The steering committee plays an important role in workflow. The steering committee is the group of users selected to review every idea to determine which ones will make good projects. They also activate ideas from the hopper and assign them to project owners. To assign steering committee members, click Edit Steering Committee on the Sandbox Workflow tab. Enter the names of the steering committee members, then add them to the group. You can add more than one user at a time. The hopper is where the steering committee goes to review ideas. You can edit the hopper chart to make it easier for the steering committee to evaluate and prioritize ideas. First, you can choose the number of variables the steering committee should consider when evaluating ideas. Then, you can choose what you want those variables to be. It's best to make these variables required fields in the idea form so that users are sure to enter the criteria the steering committee will use to evaluate their ideas. Next, decide if you want to include a grouping variable on the chart. Finally, assign reference lines and save your changes. You can check your changes by going to the hopper in the sandbox. You can choose the data fields to display when you expand a project. These fields can differ from stage to stage. To determine which fields to display, 
edit the project's data display. Then, choose the fields that are critical to your deployment. By default, workflow data is already linked and ready to go. Typically, you only need to link workflow data when you change or add data that impacts the workflow. For example, your company wants to add a final audit phase to the DMAIC methodology. First, you'll want to add a new phase to the DMAIC methodology. You can also select which user roles you want to review the new phase and whether that phase has any required data fields. Next, you'll want to go to the Templates tab in the Sandbox and open the DMAIC project template. There, you can add the new phase to the roadmap and save the template. Next, go to the Data Fields tab in the Sandbox and edit the current phase field. To reflect the newly added phase. Finally, return to the Sandbox Workflow tab and click Link Workflow Data. Link the new phase of the workflow methodology to the associated list field value. Now, when the DMAIC projects are in the new audit phase, the current phase field will accurately reflect the status on the dashboard and in forms. Email notifications maximize the efficiency of the workflow process. When notifications are on, anyone who needs to take action is notified via email. After you're done configuring workflow, you'll want to publish your changes. But before you do, be sure to review your changes in the sandbox to make sure everything appears and works as expected. Then, publish the changes. Workflow keeps ideas and projects moving seamlessly. It's powerful and fully customizable, designed to keep your deployment on track and running smoothly. For more information and videos, go to www.minitab.com.